All right, guys, back with another video for you today. And today I've got another comparison video focusing on the house of Parfums de Marly. Now, I haven't spoken much about Pegasus from Parfums de Marly, this one right here. But uh, no better time to do it than now because we can compare it to Pegasus Exclusive. Both of these are from Parfums de Marly. This came out in 2011 and this came out in 2020. And today it's a comparison video between the both of these fragrances. So if you're curious to learn about these two, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian with Smelling Great Fragrance Reviews. If you haven't caught my recent video comparing Delina with Delina Exclusive, uh, another uh, duo of fragrances from uh, Parfums de Marly, which are very, very popular. Please do catch that. I launched that a few days ago, probably at the end of last week. But today it's all about Pegasus and Pegasus Exclusive. Exclusive, I should say it that way. If you're fans of these two fragrances, I'd like to find out. Put a comment down so that I can find out. But uh, before I get to the full comparison video, if this is your first time tuning into my channel and you still haven't subscribed to the channel, please do click the subscribe button below and also click the bell so you'll be notified for future videos and giveaways. So this is a fragrance I, I guess um, I sampled early on in my journey, but never really picked up because I always compared it to Reflection Man for some reason. Not because of the similar notes, uh, because of the powderiness and the fact that Reflection Man is targeted to men and of course uh, Pegasus is also targeted to men from a you know a niche house. Uh, of course Amouage being uh, Reflection Man and uh, Parfums of Marley being um, Pegasus. But you know uh, lately I've been curious to uh, you know explore like almondy fragrances and this one seems to be a very popular fragrance focusing on almonds but it's a unique almondy experience because it's uh, all very powdery you know it's a very very powdery fragrance but we have a little bit of a detour in the exclusive version and less almonds at least for me it's the less almondier version of the two even though they both focus on bitter almonds. So Pegasus was launched in 2011. According to Fragrantica, it's called an Oriental Fougere. I would call it more of an Oriental Woody personally. The perfumer is Hamid Maradi Kashani and the price is 125 ml for $310. Now, on the other hand, Pegasus Exclusive was launched in 2020, just recently, and there's no perfumer mentioned for this one. And this one, they do call it an Oriental Woody. Perfumer, as I said, I don't know. The price and size for this one, 125 ml bottle for $375. So they launched, and nine years later, the exclusive version of uh, this one, Pegasus. And um, my thoughts are that I'm still in love with this one over this one. Here are a few things. Let me tell you the notes. For Pegasus, bergamot, heliotrope, cumin at the top notes. Heart notes, you got lavender, bitter almond, and jasmine. And finally in the base notes, vanilla, sandalwood, and amber. With uh, Pegasus exclusive, you've got at the top bergamot, pink pepper, cardamom, heliotrope. In the heart, you've got jasmine, lavender, bitter almond, and geranium. Finally in the base notes, you've got vanilla, amber, sandalwood, natural oud, Gaiac wood. So both of the fragrances are powdery uh, and even though they both feature sandalwood I don't get much creaminess with these two fragrances whatsoever. It's a complete dry fragrance very very powdery very airy in fact it's not as airy here as it is here but definitely focusing on the almonds and then the fougere thing with this one I don't get much of a fougere as a fragrance uh, the fact that it has some lavender uh, that there is some herbal aromatic touch in it. Uh, I don't think that I would go to the extent of calling this a fougere. I think it's a oriental woody or woody spicy uh, and uh, perhaps aromatic. I can go to the extent of calling it that as well. But and then maybe go to the extent of calling it a gourmand because it has almonds in it. But it doesn't act like a fougere whatsoever to me. It definitely is not. Um, whatsoever. But here, in comparison to this one, they have removed or toned down the almonds with this one. And then the oud is very, very prominent here for me. And it's a very smoky experience in comparison to this one. Whereas this one here, 
the original Pegasus is more uplifting and a happy fragrance, we're going into dark territory with this particular one. A much more spicier version and also the smoky, the smokiness of the oud, it takes it into the dark corridors of wherever you want to call it. So the almonds in here almost uh, experience like they're toasted and roasted smoked almonds rather than this like you know kind of like gourmand almonds because i do get the gourmand touches with this one with the almonds it's just it's really really powdery you know it's a powder bomb for me but here they are more like they're toasted and uh almost to the extent of charred because of that smokiness in the, in the fragrance this one also reminds me a little bit of uh memo paris's african leather I just when I was wearing it, I, I'm, I'm like, where is this coming from? Reminds me of a little bit of the uh, the spiciness and the smokiness from African leather, because in the end, this has some leathery touches, and I think the leathery touches with this one is definitely certainly coming from the oud, uh, because they don't mention any leather uh, for notes with this particular fragrance. So it's a darker overall experience, and an, uh, not a bright and happy experience. Still very powdery for. Both both of them but I feel like this one's a lot more powdery than this but as I said overall both of them are pretty powdery in general the other thing with the exclusive it reminds me a little bit of Leighton exclusive as well and so uh, I felt like that might be a little redundant with the fact that we already have something that smells similar to this it's not identical but it definitely reminds me of both African leather and then also uh, Leighton exclusive so it feels like I've already smelled something like this it's just the um, uh, the powdery almondy version of uh, Leighton exclusive it's reminding me of that so I guess Going forward, if Parfums de Marley is going to make exclusive versions of their popular fragrances, hopefully they'll make one of Carlisle, uh, maybe Herod, because I love Herod. Herod's one of my favorite. In fact, Herod is my favorite fragrance from this brand. Will they make an exclusive version, and will it go into this direction of being smoky, oody kind of a thing? We shall see. But for now, I'm preferring the original Pegasus. Um, I, I like its... Um, airiness um, it's powdery it's also dry and the one thing i want to mention about dry fragrances for me having dry skin dry fragrances don't last as long on me as much as like sticky syrupy fragrances that you know stick on and stay on forever this the fact that it's a uh, airy and it, it almost feels like it's floating you know it's like it's gonna lift off of me and i'm gonna run out of the smell but several times i wore both of these fragrances going to sleep and um when i woke up there were still light uh you know touches of this one on me and this one ended up smelling a little closer to this i think the smokiness and the darkness had uh, kind of lifted up um and it did remind me a little bit more of this but still having its darkness here so i feel like they're pretty long lasting even though i feel like dry uh having dry skin and dry fragrances like these powdery fragrances like these do not last as long on me these seem to have lasted quite a bit especially uh you know sleeping for eight hours and waking up the next day and still smelling the fragrances off of me so it's a late discovery for me uh, these fragrances uh, and again as I said I had always uh, compared this to reflection man and uh, thought you know I have a reflection man I don't need the Pegasus but they're very different except for the fact that they're both very powdery fragrances and I do prefer this one more I like the whole almondy thing it kind of goes into a gourmand direction um, it's a you know it's a light and airy but still powdery i like the whole nuttiness of the almonds it's bitter almonds but there's still some sweetness in here i think the vanilla adds the nice sweetness to the bitter almond almondy touches and um Make, makes for a fun wearing experience where you know you're kind of like dabbling in gourmand but you're not quite getting there because it's not an you know it's not an ultra sweet desserty gourmand fragrance just a little light touch of it it's interesting uh, i feel like this one also even though it's in the masculine bottle uh, i feel like the powderiness and also the the almondy touches make for a very unisex experience here it's not necessarily like an ultra masculine fragrance because uh, m 
most of the time I hear from you guys powdery fragrances, oh, I don't like them, they're too feminine, or they're for a woman, things like that. So it's interesting that we have this fragrance here. It's sort of like a gender bender kind of a fragrance where I feel both uh, sexes can pull this one off. Now, when we go back to Leighton Exclusive, I think uh, it's more leaning masculine for sure, even though it has the almondy touches in here. And of course, as I said, the almondy touches are more smoked and burnt smelling, but still the almond is there. And I feel like this particular version over this one leans more masculine. This one is totally unisex. Uh, it's not necessarily feminine, but maybe slight bit. Uh, what do you guys think? Those of you that are uh, watching this channel and know these two fragrances, what do you think? Do you think this is a unisex fragrance or do you think it's masculine or feminine? And what do you think about uh, Late and Exclusive? Do you think it's ultra masculine or do you think it's still unisex? Um, I'd like to find out. As I said, I find this one to be unisex and this one to be definitely on the masculine side. So those are my thoughts on these two fragrances. Uh, I would love to explore more Parfums de Marley fragrances on the channel that I haven't spoken much about. Uh, especially since they have a big collection or big catalog of fragrances. If you have been following me on the channel and you've seen my videos and reviews on Parfums de Marley fragrances, what would you like for me to review going forward in the future? Now that I've reviewed Pegasus and Pegasus exclusive, at least compare the two together. Please let me know, put a comment down so that I can find out, so I can prep for them uh, going forward next year, obviously, because we're running out of time this year. But yeah, let me know uh, what you'd like for me to review on the channel as far as um, Parfums and Marley fragrances go. And also, let me know if you want me to cover feminine fragrances, because I know a lot of you ladies out there would like for me to do more feminine fragrance review videos. Put some comments down so I can find out. But either way, those are my thoughts on these two fragrances. I enjoy them. They're definitely almondy. This one's definitely unisex leaning. This one's definitely masculine leaning. And that's all I have to say about Pegasus and Pegasus exclusive from Parfums de Marley. Anyway, put some comments down. Let me find out if you're fans of this fragrance. Uh, other than that, guys, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, as I said, put some comments down below. Please like this video. Please share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye.